Alrighty, dividing polynomials. Well, it sounded weird. Dividing polynomials. Still not, still not sounding very good, is it? Alrighty, so dividing polynomials. I think what some people really, really miss that I think that you guys this year have sort of taken on and done really great. That I've even in my older grades, guys, that you guys do this better than my older grades is recognizing that dividing a polynomial or anything really by a number is still distribution property okay dividing by negative 2 is the same thing as multiplying by negative 2 so if I had instead a negative 2 outside, here, outside the brackets I would have to distribute that negative 2 to each thing inside here okay that's what I really I really really enjoyed about this year one of the things I really enjoyed about this year teaching you guys so this has to go here this has to go here and this has to go here it looks a little different than the distribution property which is why people have trouble seeing it but it's still the distribution property. Okay, so what we end up with is negative 40 x squared divided by negative 2 plus 22 x divided by negative 2 plus negative 10 divided by negative 2. Alrighty, so now we got to do this. So again, when we're dividing by a constant, we don't worry about our x's, we just go negative 40 divided by negative 2, 20 x squared plus, actually I'm going to get rid of that plus. The reason being is because my next step I'm going to end up with a negative, so I'm just going to leave a subtract sign there. So I'm going to have negative 22 x divided by negative 2, that's going to be negative 11, negative 11 x, then I'm going to have negative 10 divided by negative 2, which is positive 5, so plus 5. So I just divide that polynomial in two. Take that polynomial, okay? Um, so again, distribution property just looks a little different. Alrighty, dividing a polynomial by a monomial. So again, when you were dividing by a monomial, it's sort of like so we had two squared divided by two to the one. What do we do with powers of the same base? When we're dividing, we subtract, so that's actually 2 subtract 1, so it ends up 2, okay? So that leaves me to show you guys that x squared divided by x is equal to x, or y squared divided by y is equal to y, m squared divided by m is equal to m, and so on and so forth, okay? So we follow the same old procedure, we got negative x squared divided by negative 4x plus 12x divided by negative 4, oops, negative 4x plus 4x divided by negative 4x. So that leads us with, um, so we got negative 8 divided by negative 4, that's 2 x squared divided by x, well, it's just x. Then I got um, 4x squared, or sorry, 4, um, 12x divided by negative 4x, so that's 12 divided by negative 4. That's going to be, um, I shouldn't have wrote that there. Brain fart. So I'm going to be, that's going to be negative 3. And x divided by x, well, tell me what 2 divided by 2 is, please. Of course, that's 1. Uh, 3 divided by 3, also 1. Stick man divided by stick man, that's equal to 1 as well. Okay, anything divided by itself is 1. So, that will be this divided by this is 1. Then I got 4x divided by negative 4x. Well, 4 divided by negative 4x is just going to be negative 1. And of course, look, we got this thing. We got to simplify that anymore. We got 2x, negative 3 subtract 1 is negative 4. And we could have done that up here. I never noticed. This is an example I got from a book. This is not a very good example because this should have this should have been simplified here first. But again, you get the same answer. It doesn't matter when you simplify. But you could have simplified first and got... 16x and then divided by 16x divided by negative 4x is negative 4 itself. So we could have got that step a little bit closer, but that's okay. Um, so I hope this clears up the issue of dividing, guys. Um, good luck with your studying.